Welcome back. This is episode two of Big Dino Plays Too Many Bones, Age of Tyranny. We have brought Carcass back to face off against Lockyer, the next tyrant on our list of seven tyrants we need to defeat. So, just to uh, finish off something I forgot to do last mission. So, uh, this adventure card tells us that we need to draw a scar. So, I'm going to shuffle uh, these scars and we will deal ourselves this one which is your battle garments are in shreds and the flesh on your back feels about the same even if you had loot to carry it would be next to impossible to find a place for it reduce your loot area by one and place a scar token in a loot spot to remember this i'm actually just going to put it there that's not a great scar for us given that we cook and we use our recipes for loot, but it is what it is. Uh, so I made a couple of decisions. There was no real guidance around what to do, but um, I've elected not to take any baddies on my hooks. And I've also elected uh, not to... Uh, no, that was it. My hooks are recipes and recipe cards. So we'll shuffle our recipes. Uh, we'll shuffle our loot. So what we're hoping for this mission, so again, we're looking for six progress points and we have nine days in which to do it in. Uh, lock gear, never fought in before. So we'll just read this, uh, which is a slightly different. Uh, lock gear has begged and pleaded. So the start of your adventure, Lockyer's Tyrant Encounters contain appeasement requirements, which are considered in play as soon as they are drawn. So, uh, I'll shuffle. There's a lot of Tyrant Encounters here. Oh, we've got one on the start. Uh, then we're going to go three, two, one. Okay. Let's get started. Duster's Aid is our first card, and it says... This cache seems oddly personalized. Each gear lock gains one of their consumable die. I'm going to take that. It's going to get me some hooks, some baddies on my hooks. I'll also get a progress point and one training point. So, I think we'll train Dexterity... And it's nice to have our um, N8 plus one already online. Day two. Hardly out of the gate. This is the one from the core set. Cool. Let's show them what Obendar gear locks are made of. So we're going to take this one. It's two baddies. One, two. We will scout uh, to see if we want one of these. We can. We'll look at this top one. Treasure and flee. I'm actually probably okay with him. Little sook that he is. He's initiative two. And he has six health. And this one, blind strike and inspire one. That's annoying actually, inspire one. Okay, uh, let's roll our initiative die. Now, remembering uh, for this campaign, uh, every battle initiative roll is plus one. So, of course, we roll a three, which goes to a four. Uh, he is not rolling any dice. He is only blind striking. He blind strikes against the highest health. So, that will be him. Uh, I'm just going to read the rules for Flea. Uh, remove this unit. Closest must discard a loot. So we're just going to discard this to Warren Gem. So that'll be fine. Am I happy with going there? I do want to fight him because I can get the treasure. Uh, at the start of the battle, I will roll the Volkesh's Claw dice. 
And we have the cremation station place trap in available position on the battle mat. The first unit to step on this position ends its movement and is dealt two true damage. Let's go in there. Uh, and then we'll just quickly read Inspire. Inspire. The next baddie on the initiative meter takes their turn and is granted one additional attack dice. Okay. It's round one. This guy goes first. He's going to blind strike him for one. He's then going to move towards us and he's going to take two damage from that. He's then going to trigger this guy to have his turn. He's going to roll a shield and an attack. He rolls a two, one, two, and he puts up a shield. So the correct decision on our turn here is to kill him. So let's do that. Uh, we will roll two attack dice and we will roll, uh, yep, three attack dice and this here. Can we put that in our locked slot, battlefield improvisation? No. All right, we put up a shield and we do four damage to this guy who comes on our hooks. Uh, it's round two. It's our turn again. I don't think we're going to be able to kill this guy, but let's give it a try. We're going to use our improvisation and these. Uh, oh, we came so close. One. One, one, two, three, four. Uh, unfortunately, I think he flees at the end of round two, does he not? Treasure, flee, the end of round two and five. All right, so we defeat him, so we're gonna discard this Tawaran gem. And that's it, he's defeated. no value in using that so uh, we have two training points and a loot so the loot that we get is incense cool um, I am going to take hunt no I'm gonna take the hooks and I'm gonna take Culinary studies. No, we'll try and train defense. We'll try and train defense. Yep. So that's day two done with another thing. We're on to day three. Cooper Trooper. Hmm. All dice with that must be exhausted. We'll take this cross by. Hmm. We'll cross by kayak, I think. Yep, so we'll cross by kayak. It's day three. Uh, we must exhaust two skill dice or temporarily remove a stat dice from our battle. So we'll remove our uh, defense stat until the end of the next battle. That gets us two training points. So we will take a dex and we will take uh, culinary studies. We are Going to also gain a treasure, but we're going to discard this trove loot to tick up our supplies by one. And we will gain another treasure, and it is a sparring weapon. We'll discard that to tick that up by one. So we have our incense, 
and we have Valkesh is cool. So we still have room for one. Great. Uh, we will rest and recover at the end of that round, which means we can now observe the first on the list. We will look at the level one. It is a troll drunkard. He's fine. Okay, day four. Here we go. The shirt off your back. It's one of Lockyer's special ones. Can't you see I'm helpless? All right. He just needs a little bit of protection. Immediately draw and proceed with the next encounter in the encounter deck. Appeasement. Lockyer is appeased if you assist in protecting him from stray damage. To do so, it must avoid placing defense into their active slots until they've collectively sacrificed. So, okay, cool. So we have this one, a dire situation. I must find my pack. I am going to take the baddie points one and five and can only use skill dice in the first two rounds of battle. So we'll have to find this wolf. Using that one. <laughs> there he is. Direwolf. One of those wolves was from the Automaton of Shale, which is, uh, he's a tough dude. That was a little one point wolf. All right. Uh, so the five point goes on top, which means he is initiative four. He has six health. One, two, three, four, six. And this guy, three health. Initiative three. So we absolutely are going first regardless because our initiative die is plus one. So we roll a five, which is good. What's our best approach here, Dino? Um, So we have three, one, two, three, progress, and we're on day four. So if we just go all out, we roll one, we roll two, three, we roll four, five, six, and we roll seven, so one, that's our five dice plus the incense on the wolf. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Plus two of those. Plus we will put that onto the appeasement. Um, we'll spend both of these to do one true damage. And then we'll do five damage to defeat him. He goes on the hooks. Uh, and that's it. This wolf goes here. He hits us for one. Uh, we can only use this culinary studies now, so we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do these three. See if we can get ourselves a recipe. No, it's gross food. Do we take gross food? Yeah, we'll take gross food. So we gain the recipe gross food. The wolf goes on the hooks. That's it, our defense stat comes back. That was well handled, Denno. You should be very proud of that. Um, two training points and a loot. The loot that we get is, oh, I forgot to roll this. Would have been a trap, so it would have been even easier. We'll discard that loot to tick up our supplies to three. Hmm. So two training points, okay. Uh, 
executive chef and hunt these are the correct options we will recover one health and we will move on to day five so how long do these appeasement things have to go on for let's read this shall we appeasement if you fail to appease Lockgar on any day he will run away after the recovery phase of that day dismiss Lockyer. okay cool so it's day five we draw this one I wouldn't dream of it so we're gonna have to do two of these now <laughs> Loot makes baddies moot. You've been given plenty and I've had nothing my whole life. Baddie points. Add a one point baddie equal to party size. Nice. So there's a five and there's a one. <laughs> oh, this detonating guy, that's awesome. He sucks. <laughs> He doesn't suck, but I'm going to kill the other guy first, so he's just going to keep blowing himself up. Thick skin, careless one, a troll. A little troll. So we're definitely going first again, which is very good. Thick skin one is quite good. Gross food. Mm. Well, I think we'll keep it for healing. I think we'll keep it for healing. So we have a backup plan extension to get rid of him. Each gear up with more than one loot at the start of the recovery phase must discard loot. So recipes aren't loot, are they? No. All right, we're going to use Volkesh's Claw. Uh, the Iron Shift doesn't matter because we're rolling higher than two. Where do we want to go, Deno? Hmm. So this is a trap. And then we can potentially use our gross food as a trap. Which might just let us execute him. Yeah, let's... No, I think the safest option is just to go here. Yep, so we'll roll this. Oh, shield, forged armor. The next time this gear lock is attacked, prevent all damage and negative effect dice for that turn. Cool. Um, so, what we will definitely do then is use our gross food as a trap. I'm going to place that here. It's our turn on round one. We will move one space here we will roll this dice 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 this dice okay so we don't want that result we'll take body harvest this will go onto there so that appeases him for that we will exhaust that to take the top recipe card and we get Ogot Crusted. Nice, that's an excellent one. Uh, we won't take gross food. 
we won't take that hunt. Um, that's it. So, this baddie will attack us for one one attack. He rolls two, however. Our shield, forged armor, negates all damage. And so that's him done. He didn't roll careless. This guy will go... Oh, he's got a return, isn't he? That's fine. One, two. And he's going to take two damage. He's then going to detonate. He will come back at the bottom of the queue, which he already is. However, it's going to do two damage to him, which is reduced to one by thick skin. Good. And this guy's then going to come back to start the second day. Round two. So we can discard this guy just by spending this. We don't want to do that just yet. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So another recipe, which is very nice. We have two reusable, we have a reusable bones and a battle ration. So we're gonna do one, two to him. We're gonna discard this guy from the hooks to get a recipe and we get thick skin, which is awesome. Now, the decision. Uh, we're probably okay at the moment. Yep. So this guy's going to attack us. He hits us for one. The troll. No careless. A single careless roll will kill himself there, so that's good. Uh, this guy will move one, two. Same again. We go into round three. Okay. So. He's going to roll his two shields. Double bones, good. Um, one, two, three, four, five. A shield, two bones, and to attack, which is enough to defeat him. He goes on the hooks. And now, do we use hook meat? No. Do we gross food? Yeah, so here's, here's the way to win this battle without needing to uh, think too hard. <laughs> so if we play... Uh, three bones into gross food. Um, we can immediately cook it. Uh, we can then put an attack dice in any spot, which will go here. This guy will then move. At the end of his movement phase, he detonates. He does two damage to us, but he does two damage to himself. So he blows himself up and wins. So we win. However, uh, we will have to rest and recover. Must choose to heal for one less than full. Yep, I think we can handle that. So that's what we'll do. We'll cook him, blah, blah, blah. He blows up. Uh, we don't get to add him to the hooks. It's okay. Rest and recover is going to go to there. Gross food's cooked. All right, two training points. Two training points we're going to go for is a scavenge dice and a health. We rest and recover. So we only go to one. We have a peased lock gear because we only have one treasure in our thing. Uh, we healed to one less than full and we gave him the defense dice. So when do we dismiss him is the question now. Alternatively, 
after any recovery phase, you may dismiss Lockyer, discard all remaining Tyrant encounters, move all appeasement cards under this thing. Um, cool. We'll do that now. So, get out of here, guy. No more appeasing for you. We're on to day six, and we haven't missed an encounter yet, so that's good. I don't know what his flight's going to look like, but I'm excited, Big Kev. Okay. I want to get that Hunt 1 active. Um, we are going to uh, use our hooks twice. Uh, to grab two five-point baddies. And it's two troll enforcers. We'll cook one of those guys into a... Uh, I've got crusted troll enforcer. And I think we will keep the other one. Thick skin. No, we'll cook it. Do a thick skin one, nothing wrong with that. So we've only got four health, which is fine. Uh, day six, I'll confirm that. One, two, three, four, five. Day six, the Daylorian Health Share Program. At the beginning of each of your turns, you must swap the health of any two baddies on your battle mat. Day six is a six and a one, so we can definitely take that harder option. Uh, five. Ooh, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's initiative five. With weak and two. I don't love these big dragons. And the level one is four. One, two, three, four. Initiative two and initiative five. So we roll a four here. We're in good shape. It's a four. So we go to five because of the Age of Tyranny card. Okay. This guy goes here. At the beginning of each of your turns, you must swap the health of any two baddies on the battle mat. We will discard our troll brew battered so that we have thick skin one for the turn. We roll this thing. We put a trap down. Trap will go there. Uh, these guys swap health. So this guy goes down to four. And this guy goes to seven. That happens at the beginning of each of my turns. Done. We will then attack this guy for one, two, three attack. We definitely don't want to miss this opportunity. He's got four health. Uh, yep, so we'll roll a defense. Okay, so we've absolutely landed on it. One, two, three, four. He's out of here. On the hooks to you, my friend. <laughs> we go to a two. And we will keep that battlefield improvisation. Very good. Uh, this guy's turn. He's going to move here. He's going to take two damage from this trap. Ha ha! You've walked right into my trap. Uh, so, we'll probably try and slow play this now and get the, the things that we want. Because this guy's just rolling this and this. Two damage, which is blocked by our shield. And that's fine. Round two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, reusable bones. No good to us, so we won't take that. One level one die. Two recipes. So we'll cook two recipes. We'll get rid of him. Uh, and we'll grab... Pan seared for some healing. Seems very nice. 
Now we need to discard a baddie from meat hooks to take the uh, second one, second recipe. Uh, I don't think I will. I think instead I'll put that back. And I want a two or more on that scavenge die, so that's it. Um, his attack on us. He rolls a one and a bones, which means he's taunting us. We lose our shield. Round three. Uh, we'll just roll this and this and this and this and this. All right, the hunt is one we want. Two, one, one, two. Scavenge dice will go back. Don't want to use that yet unless we can get a two. Come on now. He attacks us. Removes that. It's round four. Uh, come on, scavenge. So we'll think about this. One, two, three. Four. No, scavenge. Uh, do we want to cook battle rations? No. We'll keep that. Uh, his turn. One and one. Hey. He's almost doing a wound to us. Round five. One, 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 one. Hey, that's what we wanted. All right. One, two. Come on the hooks. Spend that. One, two. Hooks go after three. Uh, spend that. to take the top level five baddie and put him on there. And that is a successful fight, friends. Look at us go. <laughs> Look at us go. Um, rest and recover to go to five health, which is our maximum. We have two recipes now, both are excellent. Um, so I will cook this pan seared and I won't cook that or will I? No, not for now. Uh, two training points and two loot. Let's have a look. A mech pick, a selfie root. Selfie root's excellent. We'll discard both for supplies. One, two. Two training points. Fast food, extra decks, uh, is that all six that we need? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so we're on to day seven. Let's probably give it one more day before we um, go for it. Uh, is that worth the risk? Extra hooks would be good. Yep. Uh, at the end of the recovery phase, we add a level one body to our hooks. Great. Circuit breaker. <coughs> We'll go for the top one. Got a lock picking attempt to make, or we can just defeat all baddies. Level one, sorry, level five. And two level ones. Oh, engulf. Weekend one doesn't really bother me now that I'm initiated. Dex three, stench. Um, 
And, ooh, another weekend. All right, initiative is not relevant again. So, what do we want to do? Stench 2, Deno. Stench. When defeated, place its... All units are adjacent. Suffer that much true damage. Additionally, Gilox moving adjacent. Okay. Well. How do we want to go about this? Take down the one that we can. Absolutely guarantee. I went into a burning ring of fire. Cool. So we go first. We'll roll two defense. We'll roll three attack. And we will roll our scavenge dice. So we will kill this guy. He'll go onto our hooks. Scavenge one. Are we getting a treasure out of this? Yeah. We'll scavenge for one. Level up our supplies to three. Two shields. Shield up. That's it. Uh, this guy will go to here, and he will attack us for one, two, three. Double bones and one damage, so we'll put one damage on us, on him. He's weakened now, so his attack will be less relevant. This guy, he's going to move one, two. He's going to take two true damage from that. And then he's going to attack for one. And he's going to roll one damage, which is going to be blocked by our shield. Our turn two. Uh, improvisation dice. Executive chef dice. Two of those. Two of those. But we are weakened, so it's one of those. Yep. Uh, one shield. One, two bones. One recipe. So we'll discard him to get a recipe. What do we get? Honey glazed. Some extra initiative. Not necessary in this one. That one's gone. One damage to him. Should have specified my target, but it was him. And now, do I hook meat and kill this guy? I don't think I need to. I'll, I'll hook meat. Uh, so he will take three damage, true damage. He's defeated. Uh, that then puts a stench down. So stench, all, when defeated, place stench effect die, treat as an untargetable obstacle, all units adjacent to this die are immediately dealt two true damage, one, two, and at the start of round, reduce the effect die by one. This guy's attack, he is um, weakened. So he takes away my shield, he gives himself a shield, and does one damage to himself. This ticks down to one. It's actually this one, by the way. Stench. 
Um, okay, have we achieved everything we wanted to achieve? Kind of. So culinary studies one. Stench. If I stand there, when stench, gear locks moving adjacent to stench. I'm not moving, so that'll be fine. I'll uh, I'll use my pan seared to heal myself the full, so I can use a scout on the next day. Taking that, taking one, two, three, cook a fast food maybe, not, not necessary, we can end it now I guess, uh, gross food, do we want to take gross food, no that's fine, uh, we'll defeat him, Onto the hooks you go, my friend. <laughs> and that's it. End of the battle. So we will get a single training point, a single progress, a loot. The loot is mechanical assistance, but that is going to get converted into hooks. <laughs> and... Training point. Let's have a look. Battlefield improvisation. We've got. We've got fast food. Uh, I think we'll go with this one. Or do we take another attack? Yeah, we might attempt to train another attack. We fail, so we will take skin. Uh, we'll grab a level 5 baddie using our last consumable and then uh, what do we want to cook? We will cook a troll brew, brew battered for that one and that's it. That's it. Okay, Lockyer's battle. We're on day eight. All right. So lock here. Add him to the bottom of the battle queue. There is no baddie points. It's just him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so if we roll a five here, we go above him. No, oh, we are going after him. Uh, Lockyer's attack and HP stat are both reduced by the number of appeasement cards under Lockyer's tyrant card. One, two, three. Oh. All right. HP stat, one, two, three. His attack stat, one, two, three. He's down to attack two. Well, this might be a short battle, friends. Ooh, but he can recover health. That's cool. Stockholm Syndrome. Revenge, deals one true damage. Timid, survivor. Ooh, until the start of his next turn, Lockyer can only lose HP from damage dealt by backup plan. That is outstanding. All right, let's give it a crack. Um, doesn't matter where we go. He can still get us. Uh, so we will go there. He will go one, two on round one. And he will swing at us for two. One, two, three. And his die.
Uh, one, two shields. One damage. Oh, Volkish is claw. So he'll take two damage from that. One, two. All right, so revenge. He triggers revenge. Start of his turn, so he doesn't get that. Timid, end of his turn. All right, so he's got two bones on his backup plan at the moment. Our turn. Uh, he's a survivor. You can only lose HP by being dealt from backup plans. Okay. Um, so we're going to go thick skin two. And we'll roll two defense. We'll roll. I guess we'll roll our scavenge die. We'll roll our one of those, and we'll roll two attack. Oof, do we move our initiative die up? That might be tidy. We'll come back to that. <laughs> okay, uh, so we remove his dice, boom. We get two shields, and we can add, we won't use that one. Do we want to use that one? Shield is thick pelt, discard a baddie. Add defense equal to his defense. No, we're fine at the moment. We won't use that one. Round two. Fight. So revenge. Uh, Lockyer deals one true damage. And gains the removed HP. Really need to roll some bones, don't I? Uh, he's going to roll. One, two. One, two, three. Only take damage from that. Has another bones. Deals two damage to us. Puts up two shields. Great. My turn. One, two. Uh, three. Four. Five, six. We want some bones here, friends. Whee! Okay. Body harvest, yes. Three damage, yes. Defense dice, yes. Scavenge, yes. For three supplies. Fast food, yes. We will cook. Pan seared. And those two are done. Round three, he steals another one of our health. Puts it on his own. Rolls his one, two, three, four, five. Finally, light bulb. Remove backup plan dice. Done. Uh, two shields. Our bones. Two damage, one, but we have thick skin, so we ignore it. Timid, at the end of his turn, place Lockyer in any position on the battle map that is not adjacent to opposing units, if possible. He'll go here. We can damage him this turn, so that should be it. Let's see. We'll heal to go up to full. Which is five. We'll move one to here. Two. Uh, three, four, five, six. Surprise! Cool. So, one, two, three. Uh, we put a shield up here. We do one, two, three. We've done it. We will 
remove a dice from the active slot, which is here. We'll then do three damage, thanks to Ogot Crusted. True damage, I might add. One, two, three. And then we'll use our backup plan, Hook Meat. Because we have leveled up, it will do four damage. And lock gear has been added to the hooks as well. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Get out of here, hooky. All right. Shuffle these bad boys. Here it is. Survive and adapt. Great. Ooh, we don't get a loot die. So that's fine. Ooh. So we... We can keep four training points. And we can keep three loot or trove. So I guess we're keeping that, keeping that. These are all going away. Uh, that was good, felt good. Let's think about what we're gonna keep here. Um, Probably just our stat buffs for two of them. Definitely these two and this one. Probably just that. We'll actually do the scars first because we do get to see uh, what the scar is. So yeah, one scar. We also gain a loot. Which we're probably just gonna trash. Party choice. We'll come back to that. Uh, let's look at the scar. We get this one. It says, your weapon is now two shorter weapons. Not good. You can no longer train in your attack stat. Okay. That is bad times. So, hmm. We'll add a scar to show that we can no longer train in our attack stat. Is that okay? I mean, it has to be, because that's what we drew, but What can we do to gain a damage? Hunger strike. So we'll keep battlefield improvisation instead. And that will do. One hook mate on our hooks. All right. Hope you enjoyed another wonderful episode of Too Many Bones. I'll be back for uh, fight three against a tyrant. Not sure who. We'll, we'll probably randomize one. One of the ones I haven't played much would be good. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Big Dow out.